Tutorial 2 Pattern Calculation Before Cutting Continued Tatiana Kazarovitskaya's formula I want to achieve the same configuration of the side seam at the front and at the back of my dress. I always use the formula I derived about 7-8 years ago for this purpose. It has never let me down ever since. So the sum of unknown variables x plus y that I need to find should equal the difference between client's measurement c and pattern measurement d divided in half. If there are any alterations along the bust middle E, then this value should also be accounted for D plus 2 times E. The difference between the unknown variables X minus Y should equal the difference between the gain at the front A and the back B taken from the previous table line, that is the value A minus B. It is much easier when applied than when explained in word. So here is my particular case, the final table of recalculation for the standard pattern. I have removed 0.2 inches along the bust line at the front and 1 inch along the bust line at the back. Now I need to even out the side seam for the under bust line. There is quite a significant dispersion of values here. I need to remove 0.2 inches at the front and 1.4 inches at the back. Therefore, the difference between the values along the bust line and the under bust line is as follows. At the front, 0.2 inches minus 0.2 inches equals to 0 inches. At the back, 1 inch minus 1.4 inches equals to minus 0.4 inches. This means that side seams of the front and back at the area between the bust line and the under bust line are going to have unlike inclinations, that is, diverse configurations. It will then be very hard to match these pieces and join them together. Inclinations of these side seams need to be evened out. In other words, I need to calculate suitable values of x and y instead of the values of minus 0.4 inches and minus 1.4 inches along the underbust line to make the side seams of the front and back have the same inclination or an identical configuration. I even out side seams using my formula. First of all, I draw a separate table. I rewrite all existing values along bust line, front minus 0.2 inches A, back minus 1 inch B, bust middle minus 0.4 inch E. All these values have been calculated previously. Along under bust line, variables X and Y are gain values along the side seams of the front and back. Under bus circumference after Kate's measurements and after the pattern correspondingly, 29.1 inch C and 33.1 inch D. As a next step, I substitute existing values from table into the formula. It is very important to substitute a gain value with a minus sign if it is negative and with a plus sign if it's positive x plus y equals to 29.1 minus 33.1 plus times minus 0.4 divided by 2 equals to minus 1.6. x minus y equals to minus 0.2 minus minus 1 equals to 0.8. x plus y equals to minus 1.6 x minus y equals to 0 0.8. I have got a most basic system of two equations that is solved by the substitution method. From the second equation of the system, x minus y equals to 0 0.8, I find that x equals to 0 0.8 plus y. I substitute the value of 0 0.8 plus y instead of x into the first equation of the system x plus y equals to minus 
zero point a plus y plus y equals to minus one point six. Two times y equals to minus two point four. Y equals to minus one point two. I substitute the value into the equation. X equals 0.8 plus y equals to 0.8 plus minus 1.2. X equals to minus 0.4. And now I substitute the determined values instead of values x and y. And so I have evened out the side seam for the underbust line. Now I need to even out the side seam along the waistline. The calculation is entirely the same. And again, I use my formula of side seam adjustment. I substitute the determined values x plus y equals to 28 minus 30.3 plus times minus 0 0.4 divided by 2 equals minus 0 0.8. x minus y equals to minus 0 0.4 minus minus 1.2 equals to 0 0.8. x plus y equals to minus 0 0.8. x minus y equals to 0 0.8. I determine the values of x and y. x equals to 0 0.8 plus y. 0 0.8 plus y plus y equals to minus 0 0.8. 2 times y equals to minus 1.6 y equals to minus 0 0.8, x equals to 0. And now I insert the determined values into table 4 instead of x and y. So I have evened out the side seam along the waistline. Now I need to even out the side seam along the line of the stomach. I draw an additional table substituting determined values from tables the calculation is entirely the same, and again I use my formula of side seam adjustment. I substitute the determined values from table x plus y equals to 35.8 minus 37.4 plus times minus 0 0.4 divided by 2 equals to minus 0 0.4. x minus y equals to 0 minus minus 0 0.8 equals to 0 0.8. x plus y equals to minus 0 0.4. x minus y equals to 0 0.8. I calculate x and y. x equals to 0 0.8 plus y. 0 0.8 plus y plus y equals to minus 0 0.4. 2 times y equals to minus 1.2 y equals to a minus 0 0.6, x equals to 0 0.2. Now I substitute the determined values into table, replacing x and y. As a result, I have evened out the side seam along the line of the stomach. Now I need to even out the side seam along the hip line. I draw an additional table, substituting the determined values. The calculation is entirely the same. And again, I use my formula for side seam adjustment. I substitute determined values for x plus y equals to 37.8 minus 39.4 plus times minus 0 0.4 divided by 2 equals to a minus 0 0.4. x minus y equals to 0 0.2 minus minus 0 0.6 equals to 0 0.8 x plus y equals to minus 0 0.4. x minus y equals to 0 0.8. I determine values x and y. x equals to 0 0.8 plus y. 0 0.8 plus y plus y equals to minus 0 0.4. 2 times y equals to minus 1.2. y equals to minus 0 0.6. x equals to 0 0.2. So I have evened out the side seam along the hip line. This way I have evened out the side seams along the front and back in all relevant areas of the dress, starting from the bust line and finishing at the hip line. 
Final table of standard pattern recalculations with side seam adjustments accounted for, new values are marked with blue. It is necessary to check everything. Do not start cutting without checking first. I check every line of the table containing new values. The point of such checking is the following. The value of a standard pattern measurement plus all calculated gains, their values are multiplied by 2, equals to client's measurements. Along bus line, 36.6 minus 0.8 minus 0.4 minus 2 equals to 33.4. Along under bus line, 33.1 minus 0.8 minus 0.8 minus 2.4 equals to 29.1. Along waistline, 30.3 minus 0.8 minus 0 minus 1.6 equals to 27.9. Along stomach, 37.4 minus 0.8 plus 0.4 minus 1.2 equals to 35.8. Along hips, 39.4 minus 0.8 plus 0.4 minus 1.2 equals to 37.8. I'm used to working with full circumferences. If you find it more comfortable working with semi-circumferences, then you should just write down semi-circumferences values into the table and then you don't need to multiply by 2 when checking gain values. It doesn't affect the point of this method. Having checked everything, I am now confident that all calculations are made correctly. Now I am going to schematically draw the location of the new side seam of the front and back. All values are taken from table side seam at the front. I reduce the pattern by 0.2 inches along the bust line. I reduce the pattern by 0.4 inches along the under bust line. There are no alterations along the waistline, minus 0. I expand the pattern by 0.2 inches along the stomach. I expand the pattern by 0.2 inches along the hip. Side seam at the back. I reduce the pattern by 1 inch along the bust line. I reduce the pattern by 1.2 inches along the under bust line. I reduce the pattern by 0.8 inches along the waistline. I reduce the pattern by 0.6 inches along the stomach. I reduce the pattern by 0.6 inches along the hip. That is what the side seam of the front and back looks like schematically. You can notice even from this schematic drawing that the side seams are symmetrical and have the same configuration. Let me take the area of the side seam between the under bust line and the waistline as an example. The difference of gain values between these lines is at the front 0.4 inches minus 0 inches equals to 0.4 inches. At the back, 1.2 inches minus 0.8 inches equals to 0.4 inches. Therefore, the side seams of the front and back in the area between the under bust line and waistline are going to have the same inclination, that is configuration. It is going to be very easy to match and join these pieces together. I have evened out inclinations of the side seams. There is the same result after checking other areas of the pattern. The side seams of the front and back have the same inclination. Looking ahead, I would like to demonstrate you how correct my calculations and my formula really are. In these pictures, you can see the result of the first and only fit test of the sewing dress. See yourself how well the dress fits. There are no faults, no creases, and the side seams are perfectly in place. I hope I have managed to prove the correctness of my calculations and showed you that you can and actually even should use my formula.